hope this topic brings some, put some light on, on the thoughts or the doubts and the self judgments that we come across ourselves on this, on our spiritual path, because it's easy to deviate from it and go into this place and saying, oh, wow, you know, my guru, my teacher is never affected by anything. And because I'm not there, then I'm not doing a good job. I'm lost. No, that's not it. And then there is another thing is different body mechanisms, different body mind mechanisms, different people are different. Some people by nature are quiet and they're very, they seem very centered. It's their nature. They don't talk fast. They're not talking loud. Um, they're not talking from here. They're calm and quiet. It's the nature of the person. And some people, they talk and, you know, maybe they use their hands a lot or maybe they're, they talk fast. It's just their system, the way they are. So everybody's got their own speed, the, the style that they have. But then again, that doesn't represent inner silence inner peace. For me is being around somebody and it doesn't matter where they're quiet or they speak calmly or they speak fast is more what I feel with them energetically. I feel their vibrations whether they talk from their mind, it's heady, or they're really coming from a deep inner experience, or they're speaking from their heart, or they're operating from their mind. They may say a lot of beautiful words, but it's not coming, and I don't feel it with them. So then it's a different story. I don't feel it. Doesn't matter what they say. You can see it with politicians. Like there's a debate and a couple, you know, let's say there's a presidential debate or there's a couple of politicians debating with each other or there's a couple of whatever story and you just don't feel it. Somebody may say all the right words, but as you become more sensitive and more expanded, you just, you have a feeling, I don't trust this guy. I don't feel it. This is like everyday experience. You go through it with different people you meet. People, different transactions you have with people that you sense it. Now, let's see if we have any questions here. Anybody has any questions for me? Um, okay, we have here, Daniela says, how can we help them? Okay, I think you're referring to how can we help the sleepy people around the planet? Is that right, uh, Daniela? Are you there? Are you still? Yes, here? yes, yes, I'm here. Observe. Yeah, huh. Is that, am I right? You're referring to how we can help the sleepy people? Yes, because I personally see a lot of suffering around myself and around the world. And I, I, I know that my work is to be the best version of myself. But I like an example, I don't want to get into any preaching or any uh, type of conversation that will trigger someone's reaction. Because I noticed that, you know, those not awakened people, they're kind of uh, you know, they don't, they don't want to hear the truth or they don't want to hear like, you know, statement or things that it's like, it's all BS, please get real. You know what I mean? Look around. So I personally, because I'm a, I'm a teacher, you know, I want to perform also that role uh, where I can inspire or maybe 
you know, just radiate more of that love where uh, I can be more helpful because I see a lot of low self-esteem and, and I've been there and, and it, and there are so many young people that they're, they don't know who they are. They don't know their purpose. It, like, like it happened to me. I had no idea why I'm here, what I'm supposed to be doing. And then slowly I found my way, but not everyone is uh, lucky. I'm going to say, you know, uh, to, you know, follow their intuition where eventually, okay, it's not this group but I learned something. Okay, let's try this other group. Okay, well, mm, okay, let's go to the next and so forth and so on. So yeah, I would like to be more helpful. Of course, I have to heal myself and do the my meditation and my Reiki, my prayers and all of that. Uh, uh, but I, I, I would love to know how can I be at service to others because that's what really makes me happy. Right. You get it. Well, uh, you already said it is number one is to work on ourselves and to become self-realized. That's the number one thing. And the more you work on yourself and the more you operate from a conscious place, self-consciousness comes in and you're aware of your intentions. You're aware of your movements. You're aware of uh, how unconsciously we're trying to manipulate things in our relationships uh, or relationship to whatever. The more you become aware of yourself, the more you're going to have an impact on your environment. Even if you're not working with people or you're not teaching, you're not a spiritual teacher or you're not a healer or, or channeler or psychic, your presence will have an effect on, on your surrounding because you're discovering a deep inner peace and inner truth and you're starting to live that truth. And that by itself has an effect on the people who come in contact with you. So to me, it always starts from there. It's been years and years and years, I don't know how many years, is I don't try to preach to anybody. And uh, only if someone's open and they're available and they want to know, then I share with them. And don't have any intention to persuade anyone to look at things the way I do. Uh, I can see sometimes something within me that wants to, there's a desire that maybe wants to win this conversation or to be right. And I can see that comes and uh, be, simply being aware of it because I don't need to be right. I don't need to pursue anyone to think the way I do. Uh, that always comes back into trusting and comes back into realizing that the creation is the business of the creator. I didn't create this, not consciously, not, I, I wasn't here 5,000 years ago, not in this way. Yes, you are, but not in this egoic way as a sense of being separated. So the creation is the business of the creator. So I don't need to enlighten people if they're not interested. 